Guthabend, everyone, from Munich Terminal 2. So today we will find Brussels Airlines to Brussels. Okay, I've never flew Brussels Airlines, and as you can see, there's a 15 minute delay, which is brilliant. So I have like our 10 minutes, our 20, until the flight departs, or the plane isn't even here yet. It just left Brussels like 15 minutes ago. Um, right, yeah, I'll just see here in the terminal basically. I just found this book, Flight of Fancy, and I thought it might be interesting, so I'm gonna buy it. 18 euros, not bad. I'll read it afterwards. Right, as you saw, I bought myself a new book. I'll probably never read it, <laughs> but I bought it anyway. Um, so obviously I'm just hanging around here, waiting for the plane, it is delayed. Um, and then I don't know once I get to Brussels, I know there are trains going from the airport to the centre. So I'll probably have to get a train and a metro to get to my hotel. But I'll worry about that when I get to Brussels. I can't remember if I've been in this terminal or not, but I don't think so. But it is a big terminal, of course, Munich, second biggest airport in Germany after Frankfurt. And I don't know, maybe it has three terminals? Probably. I'm not entirely sure. Someone verify in the comments. While I am walking around this terminal, waiting for that plane, you guys have some history on Brussels Airlines. Brussels Airlines was founded in 2006. It's a subsidiary of Lufthansa flying to many destinations around Europe and Africa. They operate an all Airbus fleet with A320s and A330s. There we go. Our plane just arrived. As you can see. We'll be deboarding and then we'll get on it. Finally, going to the plane. I'm going to be late in the lottery. I didn't know that was a nice business class, but anyway. 25F. Where are we here? Oh, 25F by the window. This time. Which is the best seat? Maybe what I'm saying is not true, but I noticed that Airbus planes have more legroom than. Boeing because like this is the A320 right and I flew the A321 the Neo obviously in the last flight um yeah go, go, go you check out that video and comparing this flying to Ryanair um uh, yeah there's just more like room on Airbus planes but I don't know if that's always the case or not oh yes look at this guys press this the seat reclines. Reclining seats in the economy giving me even more leg room. Oh, this is great, this. I'm going for a nap. Good night. Do you, guess? Do you guys have such a difficulty falling asleep on a plane? Like, I just can't. I don't know why. Brussels Airs has this cool UV uh, in the docks. But yeah, flight time is only one hour. So this will be the shortest flight I've taken so far. Okay, we are here. Time now, it's like 10 to 11. And I don't know if I'm thinking of to Brussels sent out this time. I guess I'll find out in a minute. That's quite a large terminal again. Um, but yeah, EU just to walk it straight through, no control, nothing. This is how it is when you land in this little evening at 11 pm. Everything is closed. Uh, there's no more departures for today. They're closing the airport basically. Exit Brussels. So I don't know if there will be any trains going at this time, of course. We'll see. I see nothing until 5.50 tomorrow. 
get a photo of this if I can. There we go. Bristol's Airport in the night. I'm just going down here for the train. There is a train to Bruges apparently, but I don't know if that goes to city centre, so I'm gonna check. Let's see. Right, I have my ticket. Hope it's the right one. This is the train. Oh, that would like a train again. Just like we had in Switzerland. Right, next stop, Brussels Central. Okay, I'm here. Now I'm going for the bus to my hotel. At least bus is the same and I can understand. Right, let's go to the hotel now. Oh, wow. This is nice. Whoa, really big train station as well. Cool, but I have to get out of here obviously for the bus. confused for a minute. We go one five here <laughs> and I was confused because I was on the ground. I need number one, number five. Not here. Apparently it's here. Number one, number five. And then we ride to some train station and then we walk. So number one is it three minutes. Okay, so this is a metro station, not a bus that I'm taking. I just go on the right to where I want to go, so that's good. But I need a ticket first. There we go, there's a machine. Right, give me a ticket on this, English. Uh, okay, I don't have a pass. Pentish. One journey, 260. Okay. Uh, do I have 260? 260. I might do. I'll just pay my card for the bank card we're about to receive. Uh, 260. What do I do? It? This reminds me of the Paris Metro so much. Uh, like same layout and everything. Okay guys, I made it. One good thing, it's right outside the metro station, so tomorrow I can get quickly to the centre. Right, so this is the room, TV. Some nice paintings here. Okay, I can't complain. Bed. Simple room, but quite alright. Now adventure was two flights. Um yeah, obviously going from Paphos to Danaka as well. But goodbye, see you tomorrow for Brussels.